Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So today we are going to be talking all about the Colourpop Glowing Lips. This is sort of a new formula from Colourpop. We did see this last year in their Hello Kitty collection, but they did come out with eight new shades as a permanent line in its own packaging. So that's very exciting. And I have all eight shades here. I got everything sent in PR. So I'm going to swatch everything, share my thoughts on the formula, compare it to the Just a Tint lip crayons. So everything you need to know about this new-ish formula from Colourpop, the glowing lips, we're going to talk about today. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into the review. All right, so to get started, let's start off with some product info. This is what the packaging looks like of the glowing lips. It's similar to their lippy stick packaging, but it's a little bit shorter. Also, the packaging, as you can see, is monochromatic, matching the shade inside. This is what the Hello Kitty glowing lips look like from last year. So as you can see, there is a bit of difference. If you have this from last year, it's just this in a different scent and more shades and different packaging. But these are seven US dollars each and if you wanted to get all eight shades, it is 48 US dollars and of course my affiliated code is always there for you guys to use. I do earn a small commission if you do choose to use my code but thank you in advance. If you do, I always appreciate it. But that's always there. I leave all of my other codes down below in my description box if you want to refer to that. But like I said, there are eight shades and when I first tried these in the Hello Kitty collection last year, I said in my review that I really, really love this formula and I wouldn't be surprised if Colourpop is going to be releasing this as a line and here we are today. A few months later, I really, really enjoy this glowing lip formula. I would say it's a hybrid between a lip balm and a lipstick. So you are getting the hydration and sort of that shine that you would get from a lip balm, but the color and pigment and opacity comes from like the lipstick side so it's sort of like a hybrid and these are very very comfortable if you wanted to compare this to the just a tint lip crayons they are similar but they're also very different at the same time which one do i like better i can't answer that because it's like different mood, different vibe, but if you like the Just a Tint, you will like the glowing lips. Do you need both? I don't think so. I think the shades also as well, there's going to be some similarities. The best way I can differentiate these two products is that the glowing lips is a little bit more pigmented, so you will completely cover up your natural lip color. It's very opaque and it's pigmented. These do feel a little bit heavier than the Just a Tint because the um, formula is a little bit thicker and these are also a little bit more glowy where it comes to that like lip balm kind of aspect. And then the Just a Tint lip crowns, they are a little bit more sheer. They will still cover up your natural lip color but they're just not as opaque as the glowing lip. And for that, it is a thinner formula so it feels a a little bit more lightweight and also the shine is not as shiny as the glowing lip. So really depending on what you like, if you want a little bit more hydration and you don't mind a thicker consistency and you want pigment, then go for the glowing lips. But if you don't want something so thick, I mean these are not thick where it's uncomfortable but it's thicker than the just a tint. So if you want something a little bit thinner and something just to give like a tint to your lips, then I would recommend the just a tint. But they're both good. They kind of give off like a similar vibe where it's like a hydrating tinted lip um, I think because I've had the Just a Tint lip crowns for like two, three years now, I am a little bit more biased to these. I've had more time to play with them. I have a lot of favorite shades from this line and this one is pretty new, but I really do like both formulas, but that's just kind of the best way to describe these two formulas. I think the shades are really nice as well. I think with the eight they started off with, there is a good range. So depending on your preference of lip color, there will definitely be a daily lip color for you. So with that being said, let's talk about the each and individual shades or one one by one. So the first shade is called Indulge Me and I would describe this to be like a warm nude with a peach undertone. This would be a really great daily lip color with like a darker lip liner if that's your vibe. It's a really pretty nude color on me. Then we have Cockatoo which I would describe to be like a cool tone mauve sort of pink. I would wear this definitely with a lot of like pinkier eye look. It's definitely the most cool tone out of the bunch so if you do like a cooler tone lip color I definitely would recommend this one. And then onto the 
shade La Sienga. This is a rosy pink with a hint of mauve and it's the shade that I'm currently wearing on my lips right now because I am wearing more of like a pinkier look. I think this is a really nice pairing with that. So it does have like a rosy hint to it but it's also quite neutral leaning. And then for my favorite shade, Lids Jet, I would describe this to be like a muted rosy coral. Like it has a good mixture of that rosiness I like and the warmth of like a coral. It's like a good blend of both and this is like my favorite shade of the bunch is the shade that I've actually worn the most out of all the shades. Then we have Museum Date, which I would describe it to be sort of like a burnt orange brown, the terracotta kind of shade. It's a really nice sort of fall lip color, very, very pretty. Then we have Get Right, which is just the classic cherry red. This would be really great for like a gradient lip, even. You can't go wrong with a red lip balm. It just brings a lot of life to your lips, especially for me. I have very dull lips. So I love this shade. Then we have Status, which is the brown of the bunch. And it's like a brown with sort of like a red undertone to it. It's also another nice fall lip color, but obviously you can wear these colors any time of the year. And the last shade we have is called Girl Please, and this is the berry color of the bunch. This is a very popular shade these days, I feel. Um, a lot of people like that Clinique I don't know what it's called, like black cherry or something like that, but that kind of gives me that vibe. So if you have been loving those kind of tones, I think Girl Please would be a good option. So those were all of the eight glowing lips swatched on me. Hopefully that was helpful. I will now put up my comparisons. I'm comparing them to the Just A Tint lip crowns because I do think there are a few crossover shades. Obviously the formula is a little different like I described earlier, but for the most part, um, you know, they are quite similar in a way. So you guys can have a look at those comparisons. Maybe you have some shades already in your collection. But that is pretty much my review and my swatches on the new glowing lips. I really want to get the blotter lips. I don't think I'm getting that in PR because I think that came out before the glowing lips. So I might purchase a few and if you guys are still interested, of course, I'll do a video. But I'm still doing my low buy, guys. So, you know, still waiting things out. But yeah, I love the glowing lips and I'm glad they came out with these again because I really loved it from the Hello Kitty range. Happy that it's now like a permanent line. Well, hopefully it's permanent in their lineup. I would definitely recommend it if there's a shade that you like and I'm sure in the future Colourpop definitely would release some more. One thing I didn't mention earlier in my review portion is that I do notice that the colour does fade away pretty quickly. Like um, after like 40 minutes or so I noticed that I gotta retouch it and you can see the actual brightness of the colour that it does fade quite quick. So that's the only thing but it's very easy to retouch and overall it's a really nice formula from Colourpop. I really enjoy these. They make my lips look good hydrated which is what I want so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's review I hope you guys found this video helpful if you did if you could give the video a thumbs up for me I'd appreciate it so much but thank you guys so much for watching as always I love you so much and I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video bye